So I'm Naveli Deshmukh. Um, I was brought up in a historic city of the state Maharashtra, uh, a city called Aurangabad. And um, I'm currently pursuing MBA and I'm a graduate in business administration. And I'm here to talk about my journey, um, what all I've uh, done in my life, and uh, hopefully uh, you can take away uh, whatever inspiration you can get from it. So as a little kid, I was extremely curious about a lot of things. Uh, I'm a person with a lot of passions. So I clearly remember I was in class fifth, and um, my, uh, so there was a famous dance class um, in my neighborhood. And I would keep observing these girls um, going with interesting outfits, these beautiful saris and, uh, you know, ghungrus, and I would keep looking at them. And I would wonder, you know, what is this dance form? I want to just learn it. So um, I told my mother that, uh, Mom, I want to learn this dance form. I mean, this is quite interesting. Uh, my mother looked at me, and I think she must be surprised as well. So she was like, um, nice, maybe hip-hop and you know, break dance, she's not asking. She's asking to learn Indian classical dance form. So she's like, of course, I mean, uh, you know, I'll take you there. So she took me there and uh, she enrolled me in this um, dance academy. And my professional training as a Bharatnatyam dancer began. I clearly remember that day she told me that, um, you know, I'll allow you to do whatever you want to do in life. Just make sure that you're studying well. <laughs> and you're getting good marks, and you're allowed to do whatever you want to do. So that I kept in my, in my mind. Uh, she also gave me one more advice. She said, whatever you're doing in life, even if you're cleaning a floor, make sure that you are doing it perfectly. You know, you have to do it your best. Be it dance, be it anything, be it studies. So just give your best and leave the rest. Those two things just remained with me, and um, after that point, I started um, um, liking sports. I, I, I was interested in basketball. And my journey also began, my sports journey also began right from there. So during this time, I was um, taking my professional training as a dancer, uh, practicing basketball. So my schedule was pretty fixed. Uh, morning, you wake up at 6 o'clock, go to school. Uh, it was a daycare school. Um, I come back at 4 o'clock, um, 5 o'clock I have whatever uh, food or whatever. 6 to 8 I uh, go to my dance class, come back, have dinner. 9 to 10 I go for my basketball practice, come back, same routine follows. So um, I've led this disciplined life uh, throughout and it has definitely shaped me um, as whatever I've achieved, whatever little I've achieved, I think it has to do with that kind of life that I've led. So um, uh, gradually, I uh, eventually, um, I got these amazing opportunities, um, you know, to represent my state, um, play nationals. In fact, I would like to share that this is my second time in Bhuvaneshwar. I remember coming here in my class 10th uh, for my nationals, uh, where I played in Kalinga Stadium. So uh, even today, it is equally overwhelming as it was at that time. So um, my, my sports journey was going great. I got these um, amazing opportunities to uh, represent India at Turkey and China. And um, uh, life was going smooth. I was also absolutely uh, balancing studies. Um, then came uh, 11th. and. Um, Somebody just read this news and they thought that, um, you know, this news came that there's a local beauty pageant happening and um, somebody just said, you know, why don't you participate in it? So um, at this point, I'm this school girl who's extremely focused in sports and studies and dance and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, you know, beauty pageants, what is it all about? Okay, fine, let's give it a try. We'll at least learn something. I did not have this idea of beauty, what is exactly, what is required. But I, I knew that along the way I might just learn. I mean, who knows what will happen. And I ended up winning it. 
my the eleventh when I entered eleventh, I won it. And um, then I completely forgot about it because remember my mom had told me in class fifth that you better focus on studies. So my 12th examination came and uh, now I had to focus. And uh, just like all of you, I come from science stream. So I had PCMB and my focus was bio, it was in mathematics. So um, um, I, I give all these exams, get into the entrances. Um, you know, um, I, I get a college which I wanted and uh, now I think about it. Now what do I do? I have played nationals in basketball. Um, I have um, represented my country at um, Turkey and China. Like I've been quite successful in, th in these two fields. Now if I have to opt for medical, do I give five years of my life to it? or pursue something else that interests me and simultaneously continue doing what I'm doing. And um, then uh, when I had to make a choice, um, uh, the time was limited. So I, I thought that, okay, let's just, um, I'm interested in business, let's op opt for business administration. So um, I opted for business administration, I moved to Pune and um, suddenly uh, I was continuing my uh, extracurricular activities and suddenly I get a phone call uh, from the person who had organized the beauty pageant in class, when I was in class 11th, uh, which I had won. Uh, you know what? Uh, the person said that, you know, Naveli, you should definitely participate in Miss India. And you have great potential. You will win it. So I was like, okay, I've chosen this field as well. I have quite some time. Um, when you've given uh, those entrances and when you come from science background, everything is easy, right? You can do everything. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's do this. And then um, I entered the contest. I was 19 at that point of time, uh, one of the youngest contestants to enter. And um, the only thing I told myself that, you know, um, nothing matters. Uh, winning or losing doesn't matter because that's what sports had taught me. Um, you win some, you lose some. But what matters is learning. So I'm going to take this experience as a learning experience. And along the way, I learn and grow. I'm, I'm just 19. So that thought was there in my head. And um, uh, the finale came closer. Lara Datta was my mentor. And um, I started learning from the best. I, I wanted to use every opportunity to learn. And this attitude helped me win the crown as well. And I ended up winning the, the Miss India Universe second runner-up position. And it was a dream come true for me. So, So what is passion? And do we just have one passion? And how do we find passion? So you know what I feel? I think I feel that passion is something you get when you try mul multiple things. You have to try out different things. You know, you can't just keep sitting and thinking in, in a box. You have to try whatever you feel is right. It may work. It might not work but you'll definitely learn something out of it. So I think um, somewhere just this curiosity to learn, to, to just understand how things function in different fields led me towards my passion. And um, there were people to help me. I wouldn't say that this is my, whatever little I've achieved, it's not my success. My mother has influenced me. I met incredible teachers. I had amazing mentors. So along the way, you'll find people, those who will help you. Uh, when my homecoming happened, which was in Aurangabad, it was a shocker for me because more than 5,000 people came at the airport to welcome me. And I thought this is, this is my dream. This is my dream, but people felt that, no, you know, she is representing us. I could see that in their eyes. I could see the pride. I could see that, you know, she's made, a, she's made us proud. That very ve thought that 
people are important. What is the point if we don't take our people along with us? What is the point if we don't do something for our people? Be it our community, be it our society, be it our friends, people, whoever. These, these are the ones who make us, you know. So that day I decided, you know, I have to do something for them. And um, eventually, um, as a kid as well, I was always involved in social work. Um, but once I won the title, it just gave me this recognition, the, the identity. And the government of Maharashtra, for the first time, they named me as their brand ambassador for the national service scheme. And it was an incredible moment for me because I was getting to work with these amazing dedicated volunteers. Not only, you know, issues like women empowerment, or uh, cl organizing cleanliness campaigns, but we are doing the ground level work, which is like adoption of villages, going to villages, trying to, you know, p trying to make people aware what their rights and responsibilities are. I think this platform has given me that, uh, to give back to the people. And um, today I stand here uh, in front of all of you. Um, this, whatever little um, I could achieve, I think that um, it couldn't have been possible if, um, if I did not follow um, my heart, uh, if I did not follow what I liked. Um, lot of people, so when I was thinking about this topic, uh, I met a bunch of people and I asked them, what is passion, you know? Do you have any passion? Everybody had an answer. Everybody has a passion, but what you do about it? If you do not convert that passion into mission and take action, it is not going to translate into a success. So the action part is very important. And in my life, I've always followed the four Ds, desire, discipline, determination, and dedication. Without these things, nothing is possible. So um, to conclude, I would just say that um, just follow your heart, make right choices. And um, today I stand in front of all of you. You are the young minds of India, the best of minds, in fact. I mean, we are the change makers, and we are the youth of this nation, power of this nation. So together, let's follow our passions and you know, do more, be more by just being ourselves and doing the best we can. Thank you very much.